Hi everyone, Flick here from Sleek Valley Fitness and today I am going to show you the right way to do a glute working bridge sequence. So, lots of things that we can get wrong and I'm going to show you how you can get them right and give you an alternative way to work in rotation to really hone in on the tops of those legs. So, grab your mat, lie down and let's get going. Okay, so first thing that's really important is our positioning. We want to make sure that we are bringing our heels too close to our bottom or taking them too far away. So we want them to be heels in line with our knees and our knees, hips and ankles are hip distance apart. So you can check that with two fists and just slide down and just get that feeling of where the width of your legs needs to be. Slide your hands down. They can be palms down or palms up. Me personally, I prefer palms down. You want to start by thinking about drawing your tummy button to your spine to eradicate any overarching in the middle back. So while we're not under tucking, our spine is long and we're engaging our core. Flatten the soles of your feet, spread your fingers wide, slide your shoulders away from your ears, and then just pick up the bottom three vertebrae. You want to already feel those glutes and hamstrings starting to fire up. Keep that line of direction as you lift your hips to the ceiling and imagine yourself making a cheese wedge shape. So you're really thinking shoulders coming to hips, hips firing up towards your knees, and your knees and your ankles are in line. Again, check that you're really sliding your hands away now. It's no good just dropping and lifting. This isn't going to do anything for the backside of your legs. We're really focusing there just on the quads and really our energy is going here towards the glutes and the hamstrings. If you reach down, you should feel them activated and carved out. So we're going to take it slowly down and slowly up, really feeling at the top of this movement, we're gently squeezing, not clenching our glutes. So the bottom is getting a workout, the hamstrings are getting activated, and the core is lengthening as we lift those hips up. Let's do four for four. And three, squeezing at the top, make it juicy, make it marshmallow-like. Last one, stay here. Now we can take this glute lift and add some challenges, so let's lift our heels. You'll notice what happens when you lift the heels, the calves activate as well, so we're using the lower leg here. This may be the point where you want to draw your demi points an inch closer to you so we still have the knee to ankle alignment. Shins pressed to the side wall and you'll be able to lift your hips that inch higher. Again, getting that engagement to the back side of the leg. Let's do four, down and up, squeezing at the top. Three, now you really stabilize the ankle joint here for two. And this is where we want to really focus on that technique. Hold it at the top here. Let's take it a step further. This is sleek, so we're all about ballet fitness, which means we work in rotation. Rotation means turnout. So squeeze your heels together and really resist heel to heel pressure. As that happens, the knees start to open out. They find the diagonal corners of your room. Press your palms or the backs of your hands into the mat and lift your bottom high. Let's take four in this position. We're using the pressure from heel to heel to stabilize the lower leg. Two more. Working rotation shapes the top of the legs, dancer style. Last one. Now stay with your heels on demi point. Lift your knees upwards back to the sky, bottom goes to the ceiling. Feel those glutes working. Lower your heels and then roll all the way down. Let's take that whole sequence. So draw the tummy through to the spine, peel the bottom three vertebrae off, squeeze here. Send your hips high to the ceiling. Remember, knee and ankle alignment. Hips high, tummy in, engage the core. Let's do eight of everything now for eight. And lift, seven. Squeezing at the top and lowering with resistance and control. Give me four more, four. And three. And two. Last one, hold it here, lift those heels, feel those calf muscles working, demi points activating. Draw those heels towards you if you need to, check your alignment, and let's do eight, four. Good, down and up. Three. Down and squeeze, don't drop that bottom, it's not touching the mat. Good, last one. Squeeze at the top and hold it here, bottom goes high, reach your fingertips away, engage your core as you squeeze your heels together, knees separate, diagonals of the room, and then high again, down and up, squeezing at the top, your hips won't lift so high, remember we want that heel to heel resistance, stabilise the lower leg for four, three, two, Last one, stay here, lift those heels high, send the knees back towards each other, hip distance, 
Stabilize the ankles as you lower the demi point. Now, can you stay here? Let's add a final challenge. Add more instability here. We're going to touch the toe to the side of the supporting leg. Stamp this side of your bridge into the mat. Down pay the leg up to the ceiling and rotate from the top of your hip. We work that rotation, should feel good. Lower the toe, send the hips high. You're still finding that lowering up and down movement. Lowering and then lifting too. And lower. So this leg is working as a lever. Both legs are working. We're still hovering the bottom. Last one. And lower, hover the bottom. Now send those hips high. Options, can you lift at any point? And then flex your foot, send that foot over the top, knee is wide, bottom slowly comes down, draw that underneath leg in, we're going to open up through this hip, the IT band. Wrapping your fingers around your hamstring, super flexy, flex the foot, draw the underneath leg in. If this isn't enough for you, maybe you can reach round, take hold of your shin, breathe in and as you breathe out, lie back, open up through that hip. Feel the knee is gently drawing towards the side wall. And then release the toes down, draw this knee into your chest, good alignment, step the foot down, recheck your alignment everyone, ankles, knees, hips, hip distance and all in line, slide your arms down, squeeze your bottom up, look down your centre line, let's do the whole thing, eight, and left, seven, squeezing at the top, this is so great for shaping the upper leg, so the area around your booty, Two more, but again, this is all about technique. Stay here, lift your heels. Find that demi point we may need to draw an inch in to make sure that alignment is absolutely correct. Squeeze the bottom hind, give me eight, seven, six, five, four to go, please, for four. Tummy pulls in, lift at the top, Last one, you're going to stay here, find that lift, extra squeeze, draw your heels together. Your demi point will lower slightly, open the knees now. Feel gravity really open across the pelvis, squeeze into your glutes as we take eight, seven. So imagining here you're in a first position, which is heels together, toes apart, three to go. You should really feel that shaping now, the tops of the legs. Last one, hold it here, draw those knees together, squeeze, imagine the inside thighs are activating, lower your heels. And then let's take this on the second side, touch the toe. Dare to pay the second leg up to the ceiling and rotate it from your hip socket. Lower your toe, lift your hips high. As a lever, the bottom comes down, leg goes up. Squeeze and press, lift. You're still thinking about a long spine, and the core is drawn in towards the mat. And lowering down, hover, hover, hover. Last one. Fingertips walk away. Now send your hips high. You have the option to point the toes to midnight, lift the underneath heel. Well done, everybody. Lowering down, flex the foot. Bring it on top of your thigh, bottom to the floor. Underneath leg comes up. Wrap your hands around your hamstring. Breathe in, breathe out. Gently using the elbow to guide the knee open. If you wish, hands around the front of your shin, squeezing towards you, breathe. Hmm. So, you've worked not just the glutes, but the hamstrings, so the back side of the leg. We lift the heels to feel the calf muscles activated as well. Correct technique is where this exercise really comes into itself. Again, releasing down, foot to the floor, knee comes square, and everybody squeeze your knees in towards you. You can rock and roll, fall and back on your spine a couple of times, and when you're ready, come to sit up. This is a great sequence to do. You can do this five days a week. It takes just minutes. Done correctly, you're gonna really see a difference in the shape of the tops of your legs. So, enjoy practicing it, and come and join us for some more Sleep Ballet Fitness and longer workouts over on our Sleep Ballet Fitness app, and I will see you all very soon. Take care.